Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another episode of Utama Cross Gacha video. Before we begin, let me do a bit of self promotion right here. So, if you guys are Ghostbusters fans just like myself, today is actually the 17th of November in my country. So, it is actually the early screening period of the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife. If you guys are excited, um, just like me, make sure you check out my brand new unboxing or rather. It's an unpacking video of the Ghostbusters Afterlife teaser poster. Um, so check out that video. I'm really, really excited for this upcoming movie. But enough about Ghostbusters. It is now about Macross. Let's dive into the Gacha page and take a look at Ray Ray's brand new exclusive episode play. So first off, we all know that. The costume that it features is the OG Walkure costume and technically well Mikumo doesn't actually own one because she hasn't joined the team yet. So it's it's I guess it's Utame Cross Canon, I suppose. It's not TV canon or movie canon, uh, considering that Mikumo only joined Walkure after Claire Senpai and the other senpai that has left the team. So yes, this this doesn't exist. This this purple costume <laughs> doesn't exist. <laughs> so um, technically, we are only left with Freya, who doesn't own this costume yet. But of course, once again, Freya actually doesn't own this costume because she has not joined Valkyrie. In fact, she has joined Valkyrie only after Mikumo. So all the more, she shouldn't have this costume. Uh, available in her wardrobe, but you know, you know, since they're wearing projector costumes um, which change on the fly, just like we've seen Cheryl Nome, uh, has done uh, during the Frontier era, you know, so eh, I guess they technically can just insert their costume design into their memory bank and then fit themselves with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> alright, let's take a look at the uh, episode plates details first. 3776 for a total score. Um, that is, of course, with the plus 25 luck value. Um, so, yeah, and the episode plate seems to be highlighting um, the charm stats, stats more. And wait, what is this now? This episode plate can only be used by Riri? Wait, what? I guess Dana decided to change things up and usually the last for the last three months right um the last episode plate that is featured for the month um usually is this uh the soul diva use episode plate but it seems like they've shifted up a bit earlier this time around for this month i don't know why but i guess considering ray ray's um history and pass on her personality. Um, she was a loner before she was actually teamed up with Maki Maki being best friends and more. <laughs> so I guess this, you know, her personality shines in the episode play itself as well. So that makes sense, but at the same time, why this early? <laughs> but okay, whatever. Anyways, um, if you're wondering what the Episode plate's total value is without the plus 25 luck value, it's 3526. So it's not too bad. It, I mean, recently all the new plates have been kind of a low average total. Uh, in the past, we've seen episode plates with 3600 or more, including the best one that is like 3007. That's without the plus 25 luck value. So, hmm. Anyway, center skill, charm up. Unit's charm is boosted by 90%, very very nice percentage value, but of course um, if the active skill and the life skill isn't fantastic, then it's kind of pointless. Alright, active skill, score boost by 70%, so it's a uh, pretty meh. <laughs> Alright, so next on important thing is actually the life skill, so as you can tell it's in the red color box, it means it's a short duration ability. So Utahime score and damage. 
And usually score and damage, they give you a very good, decent amount of boost in score, so 120% because it's a single diva uh, used episode play. Um, so it does tell you that the current event song does uh, run on a short duration timeline, and I apologize, it's actually heavy, raining heavily outside. Um, my country is currently going through some monsoon period because we don't have winter here, so where, where other countries have winter, because snow is technically rain, right? Frozen rain. So our side here, it's just wet, wet, and more wetness. <laughs> so anyways, um, with all that said, the current event songs, or rather the, the, the songs that are featured in the current Red Boss event are technically all short duration songs, kind of. Um, well, but some of them do have a lot of notes in their mapping, so sometimes adding a few episode plates with combo bonus will benefit you more rather than having all the short duration ability skills. Um, you know, just add in one copy of combo bonus, it's gonna help you out greatly as well. So just just a few tips and tricks just for you guys if you're trying to get a good high score, you know, to deal damage to the red boss. Alright, so taking a look at the last page, no special notes attached to the episode plate, so that's kind of a bummer. So in conclusion, is this episode plate worth your singing stones? Technically, no. So unless you're a Reyna fan like myself, I mean, I would love to gain a copy of it, but even I myself as a Ray Ray fan, I'm not that, um, how to say, I don't really really need this episode plate. It's, it's definitely a, a good thing to at least try and get costume points for the costume. Um, I think the costumes are definitely the most important portion, especially if you're a casual Ultima Cross player. Uh, even if you're a hardcore Ultima Cross player, I'm sure there are episode plates out there that are similar but better because of the total score. So yeah, even so, I think it's not necessary to toss all your singing stones into this, you know. Uh, save up for something better, maybe your waifu's upcoming 7 star episode plate or even Basara's if he's your husband though. So yeah, speaking of, let's talk about something else before we do all the gacha pulls because some of you guys have actually asked me on Instagram and YouTube um, regarding the Macross Frontier Memorial missions. Yes, we all know that the Memorial missions don't exactly give you enough tickets to exchange for an episode plate. But as of today, um, the missions have actually added more stuff because they've added in um, brand new missions that require you to play certain songs. So there's the, the Anata no Oto and Good Job and of course there's the uh, Ni Nijiro Kumakuma. So uh, it seems like they're quietly adding in missions so guys make sure you guys check out um, the missions whenever every day technically you know and what you have left over to do so if I do spot certain things as well I will definitely update um, accordingly like today I'll put it inside the, the video uh, if I don't have a video coming out of course I'll upload it on the YouTube community wall if not Instagram so yeah guys make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Um, definitely keep yourself updated regarding um, whatever that's been included brand new into the game. So all right, with that done, let's do the gachas. Uh, we're gonna do the usual stuff. We're gonna do single free pulls first. I do have, <coughs> excuse me, super dimension tickets that are gonna expire. The next one is gonna expire on the 18th of November. So let's make use of them to try and get lucky with Ray Ray's uh, discount of play pool, but first off, let's do the free daily pool from the afternoon session. Let's take a look at how the luck is for today. Alright, so we don't get any loading bars at all, so we're gonna skip this animation because we know it's gonna be a common plate, or it's a pretty rare common plate considering that I don't have double digits of it, or even triple, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's take a look at the free daily pool from the main featured gacha as well. Okay, let's head over to Ray Ray's Gacha. Let's pull this free pool. 
Hmm. Oh, no loading bars as well. Okay. Oh, this is a double digit plate, so. Alright. I mean, it's not too high in the numbers for the double digits, so that's still okay. Let's take a look at the Super Dimension Gacha and let's see how things really go. Hopefully, the luck isn't spent on this Gacha pool. <laughs> it has happened before and it has really turned that video uh, into a horror fest. <laughs> Alright. We did get a bit of loading, but no Valkyrie animations at all. It's kind of worrying. I guess the last video really used up all the luck. Okay, we do get two red boxes. So. <laughs> that looks painful as always. Okay, lots of Delta, Love, and a bit of SDF. There we go, the first red box. No evolution. Oh. We do get a pretty rare episode plate for Alto, so that's not too bad. Okay, what about this one? No evolution as well. Ooh, a lot of Alto love. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Alright, so it seems like, yeah, we kind of run dry on the luck here. So, I don't know. Even if we don't, if we, even if we don't get luck for Ray Ray's Gacha Poo, I think it's okay. Um, like I said, it's not a must to get Ray Ray's episode play. Uh, I just need costume points as a bare minimum. So, anyway, guys, let's do this. The final gacha pool for the day. Ooh, the birds are noisy. They're all hiding from the rain, squawking for territory. Alright, let's go. We did get a bit of load, but no Valkyrie animations at all. So, today's luck is definitely bone dry. I, I just need to see costume point plates, so that's all I really require. Okay, old plate. More old plates. Alright, there's the other senpai that I can't remember her name of. There we go. Oh! Is this one of the new plates? It does have Makina wearing the OG costume. So, I don't know. There is Claire Senpai. And of course, Rei Rei before she got friendly. Oh, there it is! One of the new featured plates! I remember because we were scrolling through the banner and accidentally stumbled upon it. So we are good! There we go! I have the notification saying that I have costume points for Ray Ray's brand new costume and I can use episode ops if I want to unlock the costume, so that's good! So anyway guys, that's it for today. Uh, let me know your thoughts on you know Ray Ray's brand new episode plate. Do you really really need it? Uh, personally for yourself, did you manage to get it if you actually tried pulling the gacha? Or maybe if you're a Ghostbusters fan, let me know your thoughts on you know, how excited you are for the movie. Have you seen the movie? Don't give spoilers in the comments, please! Or you can also move your comments to um, the brand new unboxing video that I actually uploaded today. Well, technically it was in the wee early mornings of today <laughs> before I slept. So guys, as always, thank you guys so much for the constant support, you know, I, re I, I noticed that my view count has jumped drastically, uh, it actually jumped from like 30 plus hours to 1k, I'm, I'm totally baffled, um, you guys are really awesome, uh, I I know it's definitely not because of the Ghostbuster thing because it just uploaded and there's only currently like 13 views um, but I'm sure it's you guys who are watching the Uta Macross content especially for new players I know there are some of you who are brand new uh, to the channel and to the game so thank you guys for coming along to my channel to learn up on what you need to do about playing this game watching through all the tutorial videos you guys are awesome and of course the ones who has been stuck around with my channel for a very long time uh, you guys are awesome as well and thank you for all the like share subscribe if you have been doing it if you have done so today as well everyone who has been <laughs> giving me so much love ever since i've announced that i've lost my full-time job um, I, i'm really touched I, I, i'm seriously very touched uh, you guys 
you guys just make my day today. Even though today is, I'm going to watch Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's that's another epic, uh, the highlight of my day. Um, you guys just, you know, bless my bless my soul. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Bye.